Hey Stampers, it's Judy Clock here today. It's Thursday, just about noontime, and I am here for my live at lunch. I hope everyone's having a great day. It's um still snowing here in Virginia, if you can believe that. It's crazy that we're still getting snow, but we are, so I guess that's a good thing. So just give me a second, I wanna see if I can follow along on my computer, make sure that I've got it so I can see all your comments. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'm still all about um, Valentine's Day because it's coming up. It's February 2nd, 12 short days. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick and easy little container that you can use to put some candies in and um, just give them to other people. So I am going to start, I saw Rhonda Wade do something very similar, but she used um, a piece of eight by eight paper and I thought I have so much six by six, I wanna see if I can adapt it to fit a six by six piece of paper and I could. So there's minimal stamping involved. We're gonna use our paper trimmer to mark some score lines and we're gonna get started. All right, so I have a piece of six by six paper this is the new Oso oh Ombre paper that you can get part of um, as our celebration. You can get this free with a $50 purchase. I love this paper. So I'm just gonna put a score line right there at the three inch mark. Then I'm gonna rotate my paper 90 degrees. I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put it up against the three inch mark again. I'm gonna take my little Crafty Fox's pen and I'm gonna put a little tick mark kind of halfway through. Now I want to go ahead and make some diagonal score lines. So I'm going to put the tick mark and my first score line right in my groove. And I'm just going to score on that line because basically I'm going to fold these over. It's going to almost look like an envelope, but you'll see it's going to go together really quickly. So we're just going to go ahead and do that on each side. Again, I'm just matching up the little tick mark I made and the other score line and just scoring from score line to tick mark. And one last time and we'll be good to go. And I think my trooper just came down to join me. Trooper is my one year old chocolate lab and he's such a good kid, good guy. Okay, now we're going to take and we're going to fold along all of our score lines. We're gonna create this cute little quick and easy packaging for your Valentine's treats. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this in half. I wanna put some hole punch. I'm gonna punch some holes right in there because we're gonna thread a ribbon through there to keep this all together. Just your average, ordinary office supply hole punch. Nothing special about it. Okay, and it will hold like three Ghirardelli minis or I don't know, maybe five or six Hershey Kisses. And I'm gonna take some of our new Blackberry Bliss Sheer Ribbon, probably about 12 inches worth. And this is part of our new um, ice cream suite, ice cream shop suite. That's in our January to June mini. And I'm just gonna start threading this through these holes. Okay, it's gonna to go together so quickly. You're not gonna believe how quickly this goes together. And you know, I'm sure that you've all got a bunch of six by six pieces of designer series paper that are just kind of laying around. Just go ahead and whip some of these up. You can give them out to your coworkers, your family, make your Valentine's Day, day table a little festive. I'm gonna tie this in a pretty little bow, maybe. <laughs> of course now, I'm trying to rush and it's not gonna come out. Right, I'm gonna just clip these ends, put them on a little angle, make them look a little fancy. Then I'm gonna take a piece of white cardstock, and this is uh, one inch by two and a half inches. And this one I did cut with our stitched rectangles. This is the smallest stitched rectangle. Hey, Patty, how you doing? But you can use just a regular old paper cutter and cut this to one by two inches. I have here the, I hope your day is a real treat. And believe it or not, this is from the Pampered Pets collection, but I thought it was really cute for Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna take some Rococo Rose ink pad. Woo, almost got the ink pad all over me. And we're just gonna stamp it. I'm gonna kind of stamp it closer to the right end 
because I am going to put another little, punch another little hole in here. And we're gonna take about four more inches of our ribbon, maybe six, I don't know. I don't really measure it, I just kinda eyeball it. Maybe that's closer to six inches. And we are going to thread this through here. And now we're just gonna put it around this other, our bow, and tie it in a knot. And there you have a really sweet and simple Valentine's Day little package that you can use to package up your chocolates. One little piece of six by six paper, a couple of score lines, some ribbon and a little tag, and you're good to go. So that's it for this edition of Live at Lunch. Thanks so much for stopping in. See y'all next week. Bye.